The White Bear Lake Educational Foundation is hosting its 23rd annual golf tournament in June, and Angela Johnson is here to tell us about it. Angie, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your thank time. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. So tell us first about your background and what you do with the White Bear Lake Area Educational Foundation. Sure, sure. So I am a resident of White Bear Township. Um, I live here and have lived here for about 24 years with two kids in this White Bear School District. And um, I am a board member for the White Bear Lake Area Educational Foundation. Okay. And then uh, what is what is the White Bear Lake Area Educational Foundation. It's a long, first yes. of all, can we, can we shorten it? We can shorten it, <laughs> yep. So we commonly refer to it as WIBLIF, which is just an acronym. Perfect. Right, so um, yes, WIBLIF was created in 1993. Um, a bunch of community members got together. They wanted to create a way to house some funds to be able to give back to students and teachers in the district. And so WIBLIF was formed. And since then, we've just been chugging along and growing those funds, trying to give those back into the district. And then what is your role as a board member? What does a board member do? As a board member, I sit on many committees. I'm on programs committee, um, and we hold a couple of events, so I'm on those committees as well. Um, I used to work for the foundation, so we do have two employees in the office there. And so I have an interesting aspect of being able to see behind the scenes and how those funds work. And so. Yes, but we do a lot of good things for, we give back to teachers grants, student grants, um, Angel Fund is probably the most common thing yep. um, and people know about us. We've worked with the Angel Fund in yes. getting gift cards around yes. Christmas time. And so. that has come in so handy, yes. Yeah, and you also have, what's it called, closet? The closet. The closet. Yep, a place for anyone who's in need can go and shop in a private uh, private shopping experience to be able to get what they, what they need and what their kids need. Um, we've done diaper closets at early childhood centers mm -hmm. and things like that. So trying to give back and make it so that each child has an equal experience in their in their school. That's wonderful. But yeah. you're here to talk about a fundraiser coming yes. up. Tell yes. us what the fundraiser is and, and what you're raising funds for. Yeah, so it's our 23rd annual golf tournament. Um, it'll be held at Oak Glen in Stillwater. We're very excited. Um, beautiful course. Lots of people keep coming back. We always get new new members. Um, yeah, we're June 19th is the golf tournament. Okay. 12 o'clock uh, shotgun start. You can register at wiblif.org. Wonderful. And then, um, how, is there any other way that people can get involved? Is it just golfing? Because I'm not the best golfer. Yes. I'm more like a happy Me? Gilmore. It goes yep. over there, <laughs> over there. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not either. I just try to put it together. So yes, we have many volunteer oppor opportunities. You can come day of, you can just do a couple of hours, you can stay for the day, you can donate or be a sponsor, um, lots of things. So just call the office, visit the website. You can, there's a million ways to get a hold of us. So I don't have to go there to donate. I can go online. You can go I'm online guessing. and donate Perfect. online. We'll make it as easy as possible. And why do you think it's, to tell our viewers why is it important to, to support your foundation. We've already sure. talked about a few things, but. Yeah, well, I think the foundation does a really good job of uh, being a resource for the district. So we can help on the basic need. Maybe a family has had a fire, right? And they don't have any clothes or they need some immediate resources to find a hotel room to stay, right? That's where we would come in. School officials would reach us and we would say, yes, let's help them. We go all the way up to teacher grants. Maybe a Spanish teacher needs to brush up on their, on their Spanish speaking. So we can send them to some other country to get more immersed in, in, into that and get a refresh on their on their Spanish speaking skills. And then all the way to just objects in the classroom. What does a teacher need to be able to do this really neat plan or student lesson that she wants to give or he or she wants to give? And so that's what we do all the year throughout the year. And we have these two events then that raises those funds to help with that. That's awesome. And I know yes. gift cards for gas because some students yes. need gas gift cards to yep. get Back and forth. Parents to need to get to conferences events. or how to, you know, to meet with the school counselor. It's, for some, that can be a barrier, and so right. we try to have those funds available. So, cash, gift cards, Anything. donate, show yep. up at the golf. What can a student or a family need? We're willing to take it, and we will help distribute that to whoever needs it. Wonderful. Thank yep. you so much for being Thank on you. here today. I Thank appreciate you. it.